are going to discuss examples for maths.3.0a.1.4. Dot 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 so if you are in your FSA test item specs, you know what I'm talking about. And today we will, we will be focusing on um, determining the whole, the unknown whole number in a multiplication or division equation. So I think it's going to be awesome. I think this will be a rather easy lesson, but uh, let me teach you. Okay, so this one shouldn't be that difficult. We should be able to get this one pretty quick. Um, so let's read it. It says a multiplication problem is shown. Box equals 2 multiplied by 4. Write the value of the unknown number of the unknown number in the box. Okay. Um, this is an equation editor. And all I've got is this little box right there. So my answer needs to go into this box. All right, so a lot of kids would get tricked only because this says it has words. So what I like to do is to bring down the, um, the equation that's going on here, but put, break it into numbers and symbols. So box, or my unknown, equals 2 multiplied by 4. Well, 2 times 4 equals 8. So 8 equals 2 times 4. 8 equals 2 times 4. That's it. This is example 2. It says a division problem is shown. 3 equals 21 divided by box. Box equals the unknown number. Write the value. Write the value of the unknown number in the box. Again, I'm using my cube strategy here. It's not really a word problem, but it just helps me to understand the number a little bit better. I mean, to help, the, help me to understand the problem and pull out the important bits. So, so the division problem is shown. So again, here we have words. Although some people might understand the words, I'm going to show you how to switch it to numbers and symbols that you're probably more accustomed with. So three equals 21 divided by what? So 21, you might not have seen it like this before. So it's really like saying 21 divided by what equals three. Um, if you're not sure right away, you could make this your groups and you could have 21 things going into three groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So how many things in each are there? Or as I like to say, tie, how many things in each? There are seven things in each. So 21 divided by seven equals three. So three equals 21 divided by seven. Example three, what is the value of the unknown number in the equation seven times two equals what? This is our unknown number right here. Now, if I put my unknown number into this box, ooh, I made a little mistake. This down here should say multiple choice, because I only have four answer choices. I'll make sure that I fix that before I send it out, okay. Um, so it says, what is the value of the unknown number in the equation 7 times 2 equals box? So for multiplication, if you've listened to my, multipl my multiplication uptown funk song, you know that number of things, I'm sorry, number of groups times things in each, number of groups times things in each equals the product. The product is the total. All right, so we've got seven groups, two in each in this case. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, two. Could also go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. How many in all? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 14 total. My total is 14, therefore my product is 14, and so my unknown number is 14. If I just write my answer in the box, it's going to be wrong -o. You need to circle the answer because it's a multiple choice or bubble it in. D.
Oh boy, we're on example four. I've only got four examples to give you, all right? Okay, everybody. I'm going to try to talk like Mickey Mouse as long as I can, so let's see if you can hang in there with me, okay? <laughs> got my mouse -ka tools. Oi. All right. What is the value of the unknown number in the equation six times what equals four? Twenty-four. Sorry, can't read today. Six times what equals 24? So I've got six groups of something equals 24. This is like division. All right, I'm losing the Mickey. I'm going to speak normally now. You're welcome. <laughs> so six groups. And I have 24 total. So if I've got 24 total, that's almost like saying 24 divided by 6 equals what? A fact family. Oh, so cute. Six groups, how many? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So four things in each. Four, if I write my answer there, it'll be, yep, wrong -o. You need to make sure that you circle it or bubble it, depending on what it's asking you to do. And again, this should be a multiple choice. Oh, I know what I did. This should be fine on your worksheet, but on mine, I messed up. So multiple choice, not equation editor. Sorry. Wait. Don't leave without my inspirational message. <sighs> okay, one of my favorites, I think I always say that, I love these things. I love leaving you guys with some inspiration. Um, so here's my inspirational thought today. From Mark Twain, my head is being cut off. All right, there are two, wait, let me start it over. Ah, okay, oops. The two most important days in your life. One, the day you were born. Two, the day that you find out why you were born. Think about that. Um, basically, go out there and be amazing. Do what you were made to do.